Hey guys, it's Daniel. Just fresh in the door from a very long day at work. Um, for those of you here on YouTube who may not see my Facebook posts, um, sometimes I feel you guys miss out. So I had made a, a post yesterday that I was going in to resume work on the book uh, last night. And as kind of expected, we did a lot more um, instruction and work on myself than we did work on the book. But I had promised uh, that I would post a little tidbit of wisdom today um, from the channeling. So uh, there was some uh, discussion, I guess you could say, of uh, where we're moving into next, which is my gold retriever clunking around. I apologize for that noise. Um, where we're going to be kind of headed for the next session we'll be doing. Um, so the, the tidbit of wisdom that I promised the Facebookers, I'm just doing while I'm thinking about it. It's in my mind before I move on with the rest of my night here and forget to do this. I just want to, I'm sitting in my, my kitchen here, I want to just throw up a quick video uh, and, and bestow this wisdom upon you. Um, this way both the Facebookers and the YouTubers can, can enjoy it. Um, so what they were saying, and I found it pretty interesting actually, is you know, in the recent times, all of the spiritual leaders and, and guides and all the books and workshops have been very focused on the ego and the ego mind and the ego self and how it's a very bad thing and we have to, to get rid of it and beat it down and, and all these things. But at the same time, they're telling you to, to not be within your ego, not live within your ego mind. Uh, but at the same time, they're, they're telling us that you know we are divine beings and we are um, worthy and, and we need to embrace our role on the planet. Um, and I never really thought about it as contradictory. I always just looked at it in the in the light of, well, you know, the, the ego mind. <laughs> forgive me a thing. The ego mind being um, too focused on material and drama and gossip, um, as opposed to living to your purpose. But what they briefly explained to me last night, and I found it very interesting, is, firstly, they defined the ego self versus the authentic self, which was simply the ego self is your outward expression as a human being living this life on this planet in this time. Your authentic self is how you exist as a divine being living in a human having this existence on this planet at this time. Um, the difference being is the one, the ego self, is who we have been created, it's our human conscious mind, it is what character we have been programmed to play, it's who we have become to have this experience on earth as a human consciously. It's how we speak, it's how we act, it's how we dress, it is our outward expression of our human existence. Whereas our authentic self is who we are on a soul level who we are on a divine level and the the kind of motion of the evolution is to get us to the point where our uh, where our authentic self our soul self is expressed as our ego self so what <laughs> never fails so I hush so what they were expressing to me is is that we're going to get into how the ego self is not a bad thing. In fact, the ego self is a required thing. Now, that's not to say ego is required, but the ego self. Our expression of who we are is a required thing. It is how we interact with our surroundings as a tangible being living in a, in a physical world. Um, what, however, they are going to encourage us to do uh, is... One, through the definition, help us better understand what the ego self is, because there's been some confusion in that. And two, help us um, transform. It's not about getting rid of your ego self. It's not about uh, altering your ego self so now you're just fitting in with a different crowd, you know, the spiritual crowd or whatever. It is about allowing your authentic self to start to show through your ego self. 
So you're moving towards a point where, and this goes back to the classic teaching, where we are living as our authentic self. Our ego self is a full embodiment of our soul self as our authentic self. So it's not about destroying or removing or breaking down or stuffing or whatever, the, the evil ego self. It's about allowing your authentic self to shine through the ego self. So your authentic self is not only who you are at, as your soul self, but it's also in tandem who you are as your ego self, your outward human expression of this existence. Um, I found that very interesting. Uh, some may argue it's just a subtle difference than what people have been saying up to now. Um, I think it's a clarification of some misunderstandings when we deal with ego. Now, to say the word ego, certainly that's a slightly different thing than our ego selves. Uh, removing ego from things uh, is something that I, I feel, I don't, I don't know that, that they touch base on it specifically, but just the feeling as I, I get, as I'm talking about it now, I feel very much that flow, so I'm just going to say it. Um, the ego itself is still a necessary part of our existence as well. It, the ego is a necessary part of our human conscious existence as our ego self. Um, and why that is, is if we eliminate our ego and if we live these humble lives, how can we stand in our worth? How can we make statements of I am? Because if you say, well, I am the greatest father ever lived, some would argue that's ego. But how is it any different than saying, I am a divine being, manifest in human form? How is it different? So the battle with the ego is going to be merely realigning our understanding of ego and then allowing our, those two worlds to merge. As our worlds, as our dimensions are currently beginning to merge, it has to start at home. We as individual beings have to let that merger start within us and let our authentic self start shining through our ego self. And when we make egotistical claims, have them be of the highest universal truth. So that's my tidbit of wisdom from the collective. Uh, uh, we haven't gotten there yet. Uh, it's, uh, hopefully, I think I'm working some more tonight on this. Uh, we're going to start into that section of the book. Um, like I said, we have the introduction done, the first chapter done, and then we started a portion of the second chapter, and then there was a lot going on with me personally and, and at work, and they allowed me to take a break. So I'm not certain how they're going to work this, if this is going to be the redux of chapter two and we're going to start fresh, or if this is going to be an addition to chapter two, but they will let me know that as it goes. So thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch and follow me here on, on uh, YouTube as well as all the part of me, Facebookers who may be watching this. And uh, again, have a blessed weekend. Uh, I, if I have some time this weekend, we're going away. Um, uh, we got to close up our, some of you may have watched my live from Chickatee broadcasts uh, over last summer. Um, the campground has been basically sold out from underneath of us. So we're going down to Chickatee to begin the, the packing up and shutting down process before they uh, level our campers and build a hotel. So um, if I get a minute and it's nice weather, maybe I'll do a, a reading from Chickatee. Um, but if not, uh, just understand that it's, yeah, I'm working hard on the, on the book and the messages and, and the channeling. So um, hopefully we can get this out there soon and start uh, as a collective uplifting each other. Have a great weekend. God bless you all. See you later.